I'm Darrell Montgomery from the New York Investing Meetup, and this is an intermeeting update on September 29, 2008. The ban on short selling, which was instituted on September 19, uh, approximately a week ago. Now, uh, at that time, this was a Friday, the U.S., uh, before the market opened, the uh, SEC banned short selling on 799 financial stocks, uh, somewhat later, I think an extra stock, General Electric, was also added to the ban to make it 800. Uh, Britain's Financial Service Authority had already placed a ban on short selling only of financial stocks also the day before. Ireland joined later that day and I believe Australia, Australia the day after. Now in the U.S. the ban is supposed to be uh, lifted on October 2nd, but it can go as long as a month. Britain, it will go to January 16th. Uh, the ban includes only financial stocks, but all financial stocks. It includes banks, thrifts, brokers, insurance companies of all types, uh, mortgage insurers, bond insurers, plus uh, mortgage companies also. And not only is the ban, they're a ban, but short sellers with positions of over 1 million shares will be forced to make those positions public. Now, no trader likes to make their positions public, especially if they're large traders, they like to keep them secret because people can gang up on them and you know, plot, plot against them and things like that. Now, there is no, this was done for the purpose, allegedly for the purpose of transparency, but there is no equivalent rule for long positions. Apparently, only short positions are, are, should be transparent, not in other type of positions. And it's quite clear, clear that the governor's purpose in this is to uh, they don't like short selling. They don't want short selling of financial stocks. No other type of stock is being banned. And so if they wish to claim short selling is bad, well, they should ban all short selling. But, you know, apparently it's only bad for financial stocks and no other type of stocks. Now, the government would like to keep these stocks up. At the same time, the day before, on COMEX, where gold and silver are traded, Margin requirements for trading precious metals went up as much as 47% in one day. Now, this was actually uh, the day after a very big move up, and, and in fact, historically big move up, the biggest ever, uh, the day before. And this ban took place, and this big move up, and ban took place after there had been a long drop for six months, both gold and silver were going down. And uh, mining stocks went down even more, even a bigger percentage than metals themselves. Now, well, during this time, there were actually rumors of illegal, illegal naked short selling on mining stocks. Not regular short selling. Uh, naked short selling is when you don't actually have the shares to short. And this is illegal, as it's always been illegal for many years. Now, the SEC didn't do anything about this. They didn't seem concerned about this, even this is, you know, this is against their own rules. Now, what the U.S. government would like to see gold and silver go down because this helps support the dollar. So apparently if uh, uh, um, you know, things that are possibly illegal are taking place, but it's good for the U.S. government policy, that's okay. And if legal things are taking place, like regular short selling of financial stocks, but it's bad for U.S. government policy, apparently this is not okay. In the long run, the SEC's actions are not going to work. They'll work in the short run, they'll help keep financial stocks up somewhat. Although, uh, less than two weeks later, there was a major drop in the market despite this ban. But in the long term, this is extremely, extremely negative for the U.S. market. Generally, you only see these types of uh, bans on short selling in, you know, sort of third world backwaters where some petty dictator is running the country and there's a, you know, a small group of favorite people that give lots of bribes to politicians to get what they want and, you know, everything is basically for sale. And uh, so, you know, they're losing money on the stock market that gets manipulated by the government on their behalf. And apparently something similar like this is happening in the United States right now. Now, of course, in the long term, no one wants to put any money in those countries. You get uh, capital flight, you get economic stagnation. It you know, 
creates a rotation of light for a long time, and if the United States continues doing this, this is exactly what will happen here. 